Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. <sighs> and relax. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And those of you that listen to these recordings on a regular basis would both, uh, well, it's more than two people, hopefully, you would be able to well, say those words off by heart and also probably don't hear them anymore. Because you're so used to them being there and me saying those things, you probably just don't even recollect that I said them. Sorry, I'm, I'm acting weird today. I'm in a weird mood. Not a weird, weird mood, just a weird mood. Nothing weirder than normal, just, just uh, a bit, mm, you know. Um yeah, I'm going to start, oh, I just had some, last night I had some um, very upsetting news about uh, one of my close friends it's being diagnosed, diag diagnosed with a very serious illness. I'm not going to go into it, and I know these podcasts aren't, aren't supposed to be serious, so just no, and out of respect for her, I'm not going to go into details because, you know, she might listen to this and it's personal, very personal. But just, it's just shocking, shocking. I mean, she's like a year older than me. And it's just, yeah, just wow. And... I mean, I've only got literally a handful of close friends. I mean, li literally. I mean, I mean, I get on. Generally, I get on with most people that I meet. Generally, <laughs> I mean, it, you know, in a in a normal situation. Not that I'm in very many normal situations, but I generally get on with people. I'm a fairly friendly person. But they're not my friends. They're not... It's easy to have a... Well, I find it easy sometimes to just have that... Just friendly chit-chat, banter, whatever you want to call it. I can do that sometimes, and it's, but it's, it's, they're not friends so much, they're friendly, but it's not, not people that are in my life, or have been, I suppose I class of friends generally as someone that's been in my life for many, many years, someone usually has to be around for a long time before I would class them as a friend, like a proper a true kind of real friend um and i can i can literally count i can tell you i'm not gonna give you their names but i can tell you that there's one one who i've known since 1991 i also used to work for him and he's helped me he helped me more than pretty much anyone else has ever done in lots of different ways uh, and then there is who else I mean, I'm, I'm going to talk about people that I have contact with there's some friends that were very close that I really don't speak to anymore so I won't include them but they're still friends but I just I've kind of lost contact but people that are actually in my life, even though it might only be on the phone, but they're still active in my thoughts and, you know, still there. 
another person is someone that I went to college with back in 2002, no, 2003. So I've known her for, what, 21 years? Yeah. Mmm, my mouth's getting dry. I've been drinking tea. I sometimes find that with tea. Mmm. And it's cold tea, so that's probably why. I don't know if that's true. Well, it is cold. That is That bit's true, but... So who else? So I've got him and her. So I've known him since 1991. So how many years is that? 2001, 2011, 2021, 234. So that's 34 years. I've known her for 20... One years. Um, I've got two friends, blimey. Uh, who else? Who else? Um, I can't think of anyone else. I've got I've got another friend that I talk to. I don't talk to her that often, but she's she's uh, I've known her since about two thousand and ten. So that what's that? Thirteen years, fourteen years, thirteen, fourteen. So I've known her for a while. Um, used to see her very regularly, but when I moved away, I kind of didn't see her so much. I need to look at my phone to see if I've got any friends because I can't actually find any in my brain. Let's have a look. Contacts. Um, um, blimey, this is really sad. There's people that would always be my friend people that I used to be close to, people that I've lived with, you know, things like that, but I'm not going to include them, you know, some that I've still got contact with, but I'm not going to include them because I don't, I couldn't tell you anything about their life now. I think to be, if, you, if I'm friends with someone, I need to, for them to be like a close friend, we need to know a little bit about what each other's going on in you know maybe not day to day but at least to have an ongoing conversation that's that's kind of my my rule for that one so um who's oh okay yeah okay um so there's a few i've got a few friends few buddhist friends that i've known for a long time for I've known them for 20 odd years but I don't see them hardly ever. Blimey. So, this is really sad. I'm now literally going through my phone book and realizing that I've got no friends, blimey. So there's one other person, so it's, it's three people. Three people. And the, the last one is the person that I mentioned that's just been told that she's uh, got a serious illness. And out of the three people, she's the person I speak to most. She's the person that uh, I have a very much an ongoing dialogue with speak to her speak to her most weeks sometimes a few times a week sometimes I don't speak to her for a few weeks but there's an ongoing I know what's going on in her life she knows what's going on in my life and I've known her since 2006 so it's 18 years and I went on a holiday with her a couple of years ago with her and her husband and her mum 
and a little dog. So yeah, I kind of got quite, a, I'd say quite a close relationship with her. So out of the three, one, the, the first one, who I've known for the longest, he's, he doesn't live in this country anymore and he's traveling around the world sort of during the summer he's got a yacht and he's traveling around so i don't i don't have a huge amount of contact with him i do i speak to him on the phone um every few months really it's just not like it's someone i care about and i will always care about and i'll always be his friend as far as i'm concerned he'll always be my friend even if he didn't talk to me anymore he'd still be my friend and so he's he's in my category of close friends and then there's Luke there's my friend downstairs who died in the end of November and he was the person that I saw regularly like most days most days for the last nearly nine years I mean I moved I moved in here in no uh, was it April I think 2015 and it's now March 2024 the 6th of March so yeah it's It's kind of strange to realise that i got no friends, really. Practically nobody. I don't have a close family. I'm not really involved in family stuff. I couldn't tell you what anyone in the family is doing, what they're up to, really. I know my dad knocked a hole in a wall in the house to join two, two rooms together. Um... But I don't know much about really what they do, um, because I don't. I'm not. I don't live anywhere near them. I don't see them very often. Um, I've got two, three brothers. I lose track how many brothers I got. I got three brothers. One that I haven't seen since nineteen ninety-five. I think ninety-four, ninety-five. And I've got another brother that I haven't seen since um, 2007. So that's that six, 17 years or whatever. And then I've got another brother that is my little brother, and I don't, I haven't, I, don't, I haven't seen him since before lockdown so we're going back to 2019 last time i saw him i think it was august 2019 if i've got the dates right i might not have the dates right i'll be honest with you I've, i lose track of the years for that period like what was what but i haven't seen him since yeah i don't think i've seen him since 2019 august Five years, man, nearly. That's a long time. I normally see him once or twice a year. But, um, I'm not really sure what's happened. It's, he's, he doesn't live anywhere near me. So we only see each other when we go to my dad's. And there's been a couple of occasions when they had to cancel we had like meeting, you know, get togethers and he had to cancel, I think the illness or something like that. I can't remember. And then there's been times when I've had to cancel going. And I think there's been times when he's had to cancel. My brother's got to cancel. Um, so we just haven't managed to be in the same room together for five years. However, well, it's not quite five years, but four and a half. We do speak on the phone but maybe two, three times a year. So it's, it's not, we, we keep up, catch up, kind of what's going on, you know, generally, but I don't, 
I've never been to where he lives. He's, never, he's been to where I live, I think, once. I think he came here. But I've never been to where he lives. Oh, he did. He came with my dad once. After I'd just moved in, they brought a fridge freezer around. That's it, I think. Fridge freezer. Or was it a, fri a fridge? It might be in a fridge. Or was it a freezer? It might be in a freezer. I think it was a freezer. Yeah, because I wouldn't have bought a yeah I wouldn't have bought a freezer, not bought a fridge. So I'd already had a fridge, and that was underneath the counter in the in the kitchen. And then they brought a freezer around, and I think that belonged to my stepbrother. So I put the the fridge on top of the counter, and the freezer it just fitted underneath the counter. It's about the same size as a fridge. The, the fridge does, does or it did have a freezing compartment. It's now a frozen compartment. It's just a block of ice in there. And then I did buy another freezer, which was one with the lid at the top. And I used both. So you can't tell me that was boring. That was an interesting story. Come on. Come on. <laughs> um, so I haven't seen him for quite a while. Um, I've got a stepbrother and a stepsister. Technically, I've got two stepbrothers and two stepsisters, but I don't see the other the other two. Never met them. That's on my stepmum's side, my first stepmum. But she she was my mum for ten years or nine years, from nineteen seventy seven until pretty much nineteen eighty seven. So yeah, ten years. It was uh, I think it was a beginning. I think about March nineteen eighty seven when she moved away, and my little brother was about nine. I think at the time, eight or nine. And well, I can tell you exactly because he was born in 1978. So yeah, about nine then. Um, you know what I'm doing at the moment? <laughs> Please don't tell us. We don't want to know. No, nothing weird. Just I am. I've been searching for the love of my life. And I realised, you know, there's 8 billion people on the planet. It's really likely that I'm going to meet the ideal person within a mile circumference of where I live. It's just so obvious that that's what's going to happen. You know, 8 billion people on the planet. Yeah, I'm going to meet the right one here. I mean, it's kind of silly to even imagine that I'd meet the right person in this country. Or even in this... I can't say continent because we're not on a continent, we're on an island, but you know what I mean, like within Europe even. Although a lot of people argue, we're not in Europe. But you know, this area, this general area of the world, that's what I mean. And it used to say my ideal, my, my soulmate doesn't live in uh, Nigeria or doesn't live in Germany or... Switzerland or in South Africa or in Poland or in Russia or in China or in I'm running out of countries ladies and gentlemen there's like what 128 countries or something there's you know one of those countries Belgium um, Hong Kong Liverpool I mean, who knows? Is why we're on the subjects of Liverpool. Thirty-five. Wait a second. Thirty-five. I was going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm now counting. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. That's right. You do not have my complete attention. <laughs> you do. You do really. Kind of. You. You. Yeah. You do. You do. I. I've noticed that if I look at my insights for different podcasts, 
So I look at today, for example, this is insights, it's another word for statistics. It's a more palatable word. I know that when I say statistics, not everyone feels warm and cozy inside. So if I look at this, according to this, right, there are people, a lot of people in Liverpool listening to my podcasts. A lot of people in, this is in the UK of England. I don't know why I said that because everyone knows where Liverpool is. It's a very, very famous place, isn't it? For obvious reasons. I'm not talking about the sitcom Bread. Or, what was his name? Ken Dodd, someone that, I mean, he was famous, but I don't know if he was, like, worldwide famous, but there was a specific group of people that were world, world, world I can't say the word, worldwide famous, um, possibly the greatest collection of musicians ever, so, yeah, Liverpool is, obviously everyone knows where, might not know where it is, but they know that it's in England. Um, so yeah, I've I've been to Liverpool. I've been through Liverpool. Not actually, I class that as being there, because you are there. If you're travelling through somewhere, you're there, aren't you? Even if you haven't stopped, you, you know. That's, that's how I, as far as I'm concerned. If I've, I didn't step foot on the ground because I was in a car, and that would have been. Well, dangerous to be fair, but I I have been through Liverpool on the way to Blackpool. Um, Paul, or did I go through Blackpool on the way to Liverpool? I'm losing track. It was a ferry. Did they do ferries to Ireland from Liverpool? If that's the case, then I've actually been to Liverpool because if that's where the ferry was, I've actually been. But we went to Blackpool and then we went through from Blackpool somewhere else. But Pool is another place. I don't think that's. I don't know if it's near Blackpool. So this is the United States is still the top country for the Let Me Boy to Sleep podcast. However, there's not a lot in it between United States and United Kingdom. Third is Thailand. So I don't know who's listening to me in Thailand. Whoever you are, hello. Um, whoever's listening to me in America, bonjour. And whoever's listening to me in United Kingdom, you right, lad? You okay, lad? You right, lad? See, I can, I can do accents. Not very well, but... I think Vinny's about to start barking because someone's just coming to the garden through the fence. I don't know what that was about. That's a bit annoying. He's so loud. He's so loud. The song was leaving. I don't know who it was. It sounded like they like bashed the door. Who knows? There's a lot of weirdos around. <sighs> Vinny did start barking. I was correct. So I've got Thailand, Australia, Canada, France, Germany, Belgium, Denmark. Turkey, Brazil, Norway, Japan, Finland, Georgia, Singapore, and Hong Kong. So they're the, the main countries today so far. And um, according to this, between zero hundred hours yesterday and zero hundred hours in the last twenty four hours rather. The last 24 hours, I've had 4,442 plays. Which is quite a lot for just one, for this one podcast. I never used to get that many. So I don't know why. 
um, Birmingham, uh, Gosport, South Benfleet in the UK, Leeds, Maidstone, Glasgow, Abbey, Abbey Wood, Long Eaton, Mistake, Mistake, Maystake, um, Long Eaton, Abbey Wood, Swindon. Did I just say Abbey Wood? But, uh, Abbey Wood is in your heart and in your soul. Me, me, me. Um, Chiang Mai, that's in Thailand. Um, May. Chiang Mai. Where else? Bangkok. So, I just love that word. I, d I don't know. I just I don't know what it, I can't think what it could be. Bangkok. So I. That's I me. Mean, number th three. The third country, like in the list of people listening, is Bangkok. No, but not Bangkok. Thailand. But in America, Lake Worth is the number one place where people have listened. So I know that these statistics are not exact in a sense of precise locations. I know that. Just because they don't... Uh, I think it's harder when it's a tiny country like this one I'm in. And they just get roughly. Because it's so easy to confuse... Um, they say in London to confuse Hackney with Brixton is uh, in a sense of distance I mean or Ealing and Hainault or Stratford and Forest Gate or you know just and but even places that aren't anywhere near each other is still close because London, although it houses, I don't know, what, 10 million people or whatever, it's still quite a small space. It's quite a small area. There's a lot of people in a really, really, really tightly kind of compacted space. Because if you get, let's say, um, if you go to Stratford Station and you get on the train to Ealing, Broadway, it's at the end of the central line tube station it's proper long long it's a pro it's really a tedious journey and it just seems to take forever i mean it probably doesn't take that long but it just seems to let's check it out should we see how long it takes time time tube from stratford to ealing uh, central line oh uh, yeah from Stratford to Ealing Broadway is a long time 46 minutes now you might think well that's not long for a tube journey you'd expect okay 46 minutes it isn't a long journey on train like a normal overground train where you can Look at trees and fields and cows uh, with some daylight. Um, although, I mean, once you get past a certain state, a certain station, uh, a lot of it is overground, to be fair, um, with the underground. Once you get to the more uh, Hertfordshire uh, areas, 46 minutes so but if you plus get into the Stratford station was another 20 minutes so you're looking at hour hour and 10 minutes or whatever you're waiting for a train so you're looking at about an hour and 10 minutes from leaving the house to get into Ealing Broadway station from Stratford it depends on where you live obviously but from where I used to live one day I had this, I met this, uh, this lady and we, oh yeah, we, we met and she gave me her number and everything like that and, or I gave her my number, I forget. 
and or maybe both it could have been both it's possible and this is like about 19 blimey 98 yeah it's a while ago was it 97 90, 98 i'd say probably beginning early 98 maybe late 97 early 98 she did yeah she was a student nurse now she's probably about to retire <laughs> she's been doing it for so long such a long time ago student 97 2007 2017 to i just don't get time honestly. i don't i just i felt old then i did i felt old then now i had to say it twice I had to say it twice, just, 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 I felt old. Now, oh, it's like, I, I just, almost, almost sometimes feel like I'm getting up out of my grave every day, like, oh, dusting myself off, and literally it is, my body's just crumbling. <laughs> but on a, on a less positive note, I, so I, I, we got on really well, and yeah, I met her at a party, a party. It was at the comedy club. I was working that night. I don't remember what it was. I think it might have been a charity gig or something like that. And we just got on. She was nice. I was nice to her. She was nice to me and had a laugh. I think she was from... Denmark or somewhere like that and she so we swapped I was going to say IDs and sort of identifications and there was no Twitter and there was no Instagram there was no um, fake book there was there was no uh, what's the other one what's the one um, crap I forget the name of it. I have to look it up now. Unfortunately, I give things names, and I thought the, the names are nothing like what they. What's crap? That's it. I call WhatsApp. What's crap? Um, what's crap? But unfortunately, when I give them that name, I forget the name of the real thing. Uh, so yeah, I didn't didn't have anything like that. I would have only have just got my first mobile phone probably the end of 1997 that was the first one I ever got and so yeah anyway she although I might I tell you what I might not have even had a mobile phone because she phoned me on my landline number <gasps> she phoned me on the landline and at like two o'clock in the morning this is the last time I saw her the, the I didn't contact her after that because it annoyed me. But because I got in trouble, I got told off. And landlady got up and answered the phone. And she's like, oh, there's a woman on the phone for you. Why, why are you giving this number out? Who are you? What are you doing in my bed? It was just it was awkward. And get back in the shed where I told you you could stay. Um, she and I... But before that happened, we arranged to meet, and I went round hers. I think she, it was after she finished a shift, so it was like ten thirty or something, eleven o'clock. So it was, it was late at night, not a lot going on. Couldn't get there by tube because the tubes had finished. I pretty much, pretty much, I think by then. So she said, "Oh, can you come? Do you want to come round?" I said, "Okay." She said, nothing's going to happen. I said, well, I'm feeling a bit tired. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe another time. <sighs> Have you ever done that? Have you ever pretended to be asleep? It doesn't it's not always a good idea um i've lost I, I lost i lost two jobs with that with doing that it's really bad 
It's 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 sad. It's it's a sad thing to do. It's like a joke, but like just not everyone sees it as funny. You know, because you know when someone's talking to you, like you just like <laughs> you lay down on the floor or on top of a on top of your desk. Just <laughs> admittedly, that's why I lost that job, and um, because the other people in the call center got distracted, apparently. Nah, 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 nah. And uh, the other job, the best job I really, really liked, I got a sect from, which, which is the same because uh, I enjoyed being a coach driver. So I, yeah, I, I, I did. I said, oh, because I said, like, I'm, I'm. This is too late. It's too late. Um. And she said, well, you can come round. I said, no, nah, um, you're all right, mate. It's just fine. We'll just... We'll just cause I was tired. She said, um, I'm horny. I said, okay, what? what? Uh, I'll get a taxi. <laughs> I'm outside the taxi now. The, I'm there. I'm in a taxi. I'm not. I'm knocking on your door. <laughs> I was like, it only took you two minutes. I know. <laughs> Weird. Wait until you see what else I can do in two minutes. So I... I I went to, to her. She lived in Ealing Broadway anyway. She she lived at his student accommodation. She was a student nurse. I am, I do remember her name, which is weird. Not weird. It's probably because it's quite an unusual name. Quite an unju- unusual name. So um, that's probably why I remember it. Uh, her name was... And so... Yeah, but a group album called me and she said, um, <laughs> oh, oh, why, the, why can't I just be normal? I just want to have a normal conversation. I just want to talk about normal things. And um, Gooba Boom said, We well, can, but you know, we've got to get to know each other first. But anyway, I went. It, What's the point of this whole thing is what I'm trying to tell you. And I don't know why it's taking so long. Even my chair is heckling me. And Vinny's fast asleep now. I do send him asleep when I'm talking. Providing, because when I'm talking into the microphone like this, there's no music on. I usually have some background music or maybe I'm watching a YouTube video teaching me something you know ballroom dancing has been today's speciality OT Mabusi I've been watching her dance and I was going to say strictly strictly uh, because I want to learn to dance and then I saw the pun in saying the word strictly because she used to be a dancer on strictly come dancing or strictly come it used to be called Come Dancing. And then they changed the title. Because it used to be on when I was a kid. And I remember I used to watch it because... I'm just being honest here, right? When I was a kid, I used to watch it because of the... Costumes, the dancing costumes. That's it. I, used to, I, I was a kid. I was just like... I was young, I was, I was 39, I was only 39, so I used to watch that, but I never watched, I never watched the the Strictly Come Dancing, but my nan loved it, absolutely loved that program, watched it every single Saturday night that it was on, I just couldn't watch it the nights that it wasn't on, and... Bruce Forsyth used to host it um, before he died. I mean, he did most of the things in his life before he died. And most of his TV shows were before he died. I mean, he... It's, it's weird. He, he's, he was around forever. My nan used to work for him, Bruce Forsyth. She... I think she... He had a building or uh, a garage or some some kind of property that she used to clean because he lived locally because she was in um, 
North London. He was, he was, I think he was born and bred North London as well. And they were around the same kind of age, sort of. I think he was a little bit younger, but Bruce Forsyth. Well, I just thought I'd put Brucey. Don't need to put in Bruce Forsyth, just Brucey. Yep. Uh, was born, see? Forsyth was born on Victoria Road, Edmonton. And that's where my nan and granddad lived, Edmonton. It was um, Edmonton Enfield. And she, they lived in a, let's have a look, a place called Cuckoo Lane. Cuckoo, Cuckoo. Cuckoo Lane in uh, Edmonton. Edmonton. Cuckoo Lane, Edmonton. Yep. North 9. But it's Enfield. I don't know why they only say Enfield because that's where Edmonton is. One bedroom property for sale in Cuckoo Hall. Cuckoo, Cuckoo Hall. Cuckoo Hall Lane. Maybe it was Cuckoo Hall Lane. Yeah, possibly. She used to say Cuckoo Lane, but it probably was, maybe it was Cuckoo Hall Lane. 240 grand. Blimey, they had a... Theirs was a council house, but they had... Well, considering they had five kids, they must have had at least three bedrooms. I'm guessing the the three boys might have been in one room, the two girls in another room, and the mum and dad, like my nana and did in another room. And it might have been four rooms, but I think they're at least three rooms. Um, blimey. So if they had purchased it, three bedroom house for sale in Cuckoo Hall Lane, 430 grand. I wonder what number it was. I remember there was, there was quite a big garden um, at the back. And as you come out of the house, turn left, and right at the end of the road, there was a bit of green, and there was some like play, play areas, you know, uh, sort of um, climbing frames and things like that. Uh, monkey, mon monkey climbing frames, I think they used to call them. And it, for me, I was okay doing it, but I couldn't get up couldn't get it up because it, it was just it was too high the the climbing frame in all reality probably wasn't very high but I was tiny and when I was up there the ground seemed so far away and and someone said that to me once so I remember I was standing in a tree <laughs> I was in a tree as you as you do and um, this was when I was about Eight, eight years old, seven or eight. I was in the tree and it wasn't very high up, but it was still a good, probably eight foot, I'd say. And maybe six, seven foot on this branch of this tree. I don't know why I mentioned a branch. I guess that's probably obvious, but anyway. And there's these kids on the floor that they're standing up and they're looking up and they're saying, Come on, jump. I said, Don't want to. I said, Well, that's kind of the point of getting up there, isn't it? I said, I Don't know. I was just copying everyone. Well, why don't you copy everyone and jump down? I don't want to. Why not? I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared of. Look, we're okay. He's not. Yeah, okay, well, he broke his leg, but other than that, everyone else is okay. Yeah, but he's not. I know he's not, but it doesn't matter about him. Why? Well, no, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not saying it doesn't matter about him, it's just, you know, we're focusing on you. Well, shouldn't you be focusing on him? Don't you need an ambulance or something? No, he'll be all right, it's just a graze. Don't look like a graze. It is a graze. You know what? What? I know it's not really relevant to me being in a tree, but... 
Why do we use the word graze? Because we use that when we talk about cows eating, don't we? They're grazing. Just a graze. It's having a graze. But now you're saying that his legs are graze. It's, you're basically calling him a cow. His legs are cow. No, it's not what I'm saying. But it is kind of what you're saying. It's not. Why, why don't you jump down? It's too high. Well, you're the one that climbed up there. You yeah, know. I do have a memory. But what? What's what's the problem? I'm scared. Well, There's nothing to be scared of. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We can end up like him. But he's okay. He's just this. He's just. It's. It'll stop bleeding eventually. I hope so. I don't want to. Just, just jump. Come on, just, just jump. No, you can't make me. Do I have to come up there and get you? Yes, please. Can you bring a parachute? No, it's not that high. You wouldn't even be able to use a parachute. By the time it opened, you'd hit the ground anyway. I don't want to hit the ground. Doesn't sound very appealing. Hit the ground. Getting hit by the ground. How, how can that sound nice? How's that supposed to entice me to jump out of a tree? And why would you want me to jump out of a tree? It's a bit of a silly thing to do, really, isn't it? Well, we've all done it. We're all like, well, most of us are okay. Just, just jump. And it's too high. And then, then he pointed out to me something that I didn't realise before. Never re really considered it. He said that my feet are closer to the floor than my head. Now, I realise it might, for some of you, it might be like mind-blowing, like, wow. Like it was for me. It's still, I can still sense, get that sense of wonder, that like, that's true. My legs, my feet are actually closer to the floor than my head is. When my first reaction was, do you think I'm going to land on your head? I said, no. He said, like, no, that wasn't what he was mentioning. The point is, when, you, when you're going to jump down, you're looking with three foot, I don't know how tall I was at that time, three foot something. It's just much higher because you're looking with your eyes. You can't look with your feet. Oh no, my feet don't have eyes, but then my eyes don't have feet. <sighs> like this jump. No, and I did. I didn't. I didn't jump. Well, I think if I had jumped, I would have made sure I landed on someone. But I didn't jump. I just climbed down. The thing is, if you can, like, if you climb up, you can climb down. Generally, it wasn't very high. But it was a lesson in, I don't know if it's physics or just common sense possibly. But it isn't as high as it seems because you're looking down. So someone that's six foot five looking down at the ground, it's going to seem a lot further down than it is for someone of my height. I'm four foot two. So it's, I'm available for anyone out there looking for some loving, some loving baby. Um, I don't get many requests. I'm kind of surprised considering how famous I am. Hmm. Any ladies out there looking for some JJ pie? <laughs> some <laughs> JJ pie. That just sounds wrong, doesn't it? It's just, ugh. So, yeah, I... I get to Ealing Broadway. And... I'll get a taxi. Now, here's me thinking, this is like an hour and ten minute journey. A taxi is going to cost me a fortune. Absolute fortune. But it didn't. It really did, and I was so surprised. Got in a taxi, 
was there in about 10 minutes. He wasn't driving particularly fast, really. He just took a direct route. And London isn't very big. It's not very big. If there's no traffic and you can drive from one end to the other in a very short time, it's just big as far as there's lots of people. Lots and lots and lots of people. And there's nowhere else in this country like that. Not to that extent. It's... It's really a lot of people. <laughs> but then you wouldn't... To be honest, when I was living there, I lived there for about 12 years. I, I, just, I was born in North London. And... I don't know if that's the house. I don't know what house I lived in when I was a baby. Because I think I lived in... I think I lived in um, Enfield. I was born in Enfield, which is like Cuckoo Lane area. I don't know why this... What's the difference between... Let's have a look. Welcome to the Dream Heart at Cuckoo Hall Lane. Dream home... This delightful property offers the perfect blend of comfort, convenience and character. Whether you're an owner, occupier, blah, blah. Prime local transport links. Commuting is a breeze with excellent transport connections. You'll have easy access to nearby bus stops and the convenience of Edmonton Green and Silver Street train stations. Providing swift access to central London. Kitchen, the heart of the home is space. Okay. Beautiful rear garden. Step outside to your own private oasis. What's well, a bit flowery, isn't it? The well maintained rear garden is a tranquil space for gardening. Oh, let's watch this. I've I've got to show you this. Oh man. I've been transcribing. I've been transcribing my podcasts and uh, where is it um beep 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 okay I just want to just see okay right I'd, I'll, I did a summary White ladder do so okay. Wait a second. Oh I wanted it to see what it said. It basically is chat GPT and it gave a kind of summary of me. A summary of me um just about this you know this the script and about the thing I wonder if I can get it back oh. so the reason I'm trying to transcribe my podcast is because I'm planning I'm planning 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 to put together a book and what I thought is a good place to start if for example I was going to write a book about my life so far considering I've got over a thousand well over a thousand hours probably 11, 1200 hours, thousand, you know, 12,000, well over a thousand hours of me talking about myself, about me, it's all about me, out of that thousand hours, I should be able to summarize the general uh, outline of my life story from that. 
including anecdotes, including stories, things like that. So I found a, after lots of searching and research, I found a transcriber that is so far been the best one that I've found and it's called TurboScribe. And it's like 98, 99% accurate. It's, and it learns as well. So if you correct something and you say it again, it corrects it. So, so for example, um, in one podcast, the first one I got it to transcribe, it came up as welcome to jasonnewland.com. And it was N-U-L-A-N-D. So I corrected that. The next one, they, they spelt it correctly. Because uh, it's AI, it's it's kind of correcting itself as it goes along. And I've been using lots of different transcription services, all in the hope of finding one that actually works really well. And I haven't. I've had, Some of them have been good for reviews, for like a, a general outline of the podcast. There have been some good ones for that. But for actual transcription itself, this is the first one I've found that's really good. Like, really good. Like, word for word, practically perfect. I mean, it's not 100%, but it's, it's nearly there. And... The other one I was using prior to this is two. There's Otter and there's one on, ooh, I forget the name of it now. Um, pod Tran, not Pod Trans, Pod Trans or something like that. And I used to do, it was about 90%. And 90% does leave quite a few errors. And my main mission really is to just, and it doesn't learn either from the last one. This, this so the plan is to have as little to do as possible when it comes to the actual transcription. Let the AI do that, download it in a PDF file, and then I found a PDF reader which you can upload huge amounts of files and it searches through the files for you it is where is the PDF oh I've lost it it was here I'm so busy looking at Cuckoo Lane I think I've uh, oh I think I've lost it oh well Never mind. Oh no, found, oh no, 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 I haven't found it. I found it. It's here somewhere. Where is it? Um, ba -ba -bim 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 -bim. twenty-one. It is Pop AI. So this is one. So I don't know if this is the one I'm going to go with. I've tested it. Cause you can do three for free. So you can do three files three PDFs and you can ask it questions so um, list everything list any jokes that I might have said and it comes up with stuff but it doesn't always know what's a joke and what's not a joke just like me really and it so if I tell me what have I mentioned about because these are early recordings like the first the first lot of ones I did in 2018 so five years ago was it six years ago i don't know 19 20 21 22 23 24 wow see i've been doing this for six years this podcast wow so i say tell me about andre and it tells me because i'm constantly mentioning him it's kind of ridiculous in a way it's like no wonder people ask me about him um I, I sometimes I get new listeners 
and I had a new listener recently and she said oh Andre sounds lovely and I, I didn't I didn't reply so thank you I didn't reply saying oh he's not around anymore because they're not to know that if they're listening to an early version uh, like a new an old recording they're not going to know you know so but then they sent another message about a few days later saying I'm so sorry I didn't realise you'd lost him and it's like it's fine it's, it's no you can't there's 1078 recordings if you you pick up uh, you, you listen to one at number 213 you know my life is it's in a different place to what it was back then Things were lovely back then. Things were all cuddly, like a Disney movie, a Disney cartoon. Um, but yeah, it's things change, don't they? So uh, there's no way in the world I could ever, ever get upset over someone, some, some so that kind of uh, message because they're basically being nice to me. And it's like well, I'm not going to get upset over someone being nice. So yeah, anyway. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this Pop AI. I'm definitely going to continue using this Turbo Scribe because it's it's Turbo Scribe AI. Everything I do now is AI. Not everything I do, but anything the tools I use to try and help me. Um, I use Chat GPT and I use Canva so Canva to help me to create my images I use chat GPT to help create the images as well and I don't just create an image and then just post it I I then edit the image and put lots of different images together to make the image that I want so you are very unlikely more so with these recordings than maybe some of the hypnosis recordings you you know um you won't see those images anywhere else you'll never see you might maybe you'll see something similar at some point but it's unlikely because i've i've designed it i just i designed there's like on the image yesterday let's have a look at it yesterday's image for my podcast that is oh go away i've got too many things open so yesterday's image there was uh a penguin <laughs> in a kitchen an old-fashioned kitchen with an old freezer like a really old looks more like a, a safe than a freezer and then you've got a penguin at the front eating and it's got one tooth missing at the front of his mouth eating a, a curly whirly holding a tooth which is way too big for its mouth and then you've got a packet of curly whirlies I specifically specifically found one that says five on the packet because I kept all about how many was in a pack I don't know and then you've got a flying tooth fairy, but it's a penguin tooth fairy holding a little wand and a bag of uh, a bag of uh, what teeth. So you're not going to find that picture anywhere else. This I created it, but I didn't create it all at once. I created it in one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five different ways. Like, it, it took quite a while to put it together, which is maybe hard to believe, but it's true. It's true. There's quite a lot went into that. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that one picture is eight different elements to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's uh, 
it's it takes a little bit too long to be honest it's it's i mean it's, it's probably not the worst use of my time then there's 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 things i could do that would be not as helpful you know maybe not as useful maybe not as something with the end ending with the word full i don't know but it's all right i just i did stop for a while I, was, I did a few recordings a few months back where i thought eh, i'm not going to make i'm not even going to bother putting um not even going to bother putting titles anymore just put the number let me boy to sleep number 130 or whatever it was and then that's it and then no just the, the general picture you know the let me boy to sleep picture the little baby in the yellow hat and I had a few people contact me saying, can you please go back to doing the pictures and giving it a title? Because it's just easier to remember. It's easier to find. So let's say you listen to... Right, I'm just, gonna, I'm just trying to look to see if I can find anything good on here that you might have listened to, um, that you, that's worth listening to. I don't know. I can't think of any. I don't think any of them been, have been very good lately. Um, I reckon out of the 1,078, there's probably three really good ones. Uh, <laughs> can't, would you believe I used to be in sales? <laughs> Blimey. Yeah, three out of 1,078. I don't know. It's It all depends on what you like, isn't it? I mean... This recording started off quite serious and then it it moved on from being serious to just, you know, I, I talk about serious things sometimes, but I don't try, I try not to spend the entire recording. Yeah, because this, not only is it, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a, light entertainment I guess is a bit of calm relaxing uh, hopefully a friendly voice I say hopefully I genuinely mean that I hope that those that listen at least I come across as being friendly and uh, I'm quite honest as well I know I do make stuff up obviously otherwise I mean that would be scary wouldn't it if all the stuff that I say was true, but uh, you know, I I do exaggerate and I say silly things, but I am quite open and honest. I try to be, I try to just be myself, whatever that is, and that does change from I was going to say day to day, but hour to hour, due to the old um, moody head that I have, the moody brain. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, this, this, is, this is what I'm supposed to do. What am I supposed to do? This, this is what I've got. These are the cards I've been dealt, as they say. And you can, if you get, if someone gives you, if that's the card you're dealt, you make orange juice, don't you? Or something like that. A, there's a saying that involves orange juice and the cards you're dealt. Um, or lemonade. They're lemonade. If they're the, is those the cards you dealt? You make lemonade, so it's. I think in some ways we all we all do our best, don't we? We all do our best. My best has never really been very good, but at least I can acknowledge it and laugh at myself. I'm not sure how helpful and healthy that is, but at least I do it. At least I do it. At least I can. I don't generally take myself too seriously. Some Sometimes I do. Sometimes I really do. But most of the time I don't. Most of the time I would say I can see the funny side. And I can be serious and I can if, if I need to be. But I don't really want to spend too much of my time being all serious and dealing with drama and stuff because 
Well, first of all, of all my age, um, and I've been there, I've done that, I've, I never enjoyed it, I never enjoyed drama, I've tried to, I've tried to be there for some people over the years, and part of the reason is because there's been people that have been there for me over the years, so I've tried to, not necessarily, like, is it what, pay it forward, that's probably the right term, isn't it, try to, try to be a decent person and not sure how that's worked out to be honest with you but you know I don't know what I'm really talking about but there's a few recordings you might like is out of all the ones I've got on there but the, the what I was trying to do really is transcribe all of them and then into download them into PDF form which is basically a PDF fo file is um, it's something that documents are sent in quite often um, it's, 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 it's kind of like just a, a document that holds the, the words the, it, it's just better than notepad you know and you can read it and it's it's like a little pamphlet kind of a digital pamphlet kind of thing so the idea is I transcribe everything only the let me boy to sleep but none of the other stuff at this point because that's not really relevant to well, some of it is because I do talk about myself a bit in the relax relaxation hypnosis for stress and panic attacks so I talk about my own experiences and stuff in them but so maybe that is worth looking into but for now um, I'm going to stick to let me boy to sleep it's going to take me I can probably transcribe maybe 50 a day so it's going to take me a month or whatever to 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 get them all done it says it's unlimited now I don't know how unlimited it is because that I don't want to just do because I did that once with a, a company they said unlimited and I downloaded and I transcribed hundreds of recordings and they sent me a bill for about 300 quid and I said no are you serious unlimited yeah but you shouldn't didn't read the fine print and it was fair usage and like well I'm the thing is I'm loyal I'm a loyal customer so if I'm with this company and once I'm up to date I'll only transcribe the latest recordings so that might just be one a day for the next 10 20 years or whatever so it's, I'm not going to be using but I will still pay because it costs money it's how much is it? I don't know how much it is. 20, 10, 20 pound a month, something like that. So I joined today and it's, yeah, I don't know. I think it's 20 pound. Um, so I'm going to be using that. Once I've done that, I'll have to pay for the PDF reader as well. I'm not sure which one I'm going to choose so I'm going to have to go through a lot of them before I decide which one I'm going to use and which one I'm going to pay to use because I'll have to pay. I found one that you can upload um, 10, yeah I don't know what it is, it puts a lot of PDF files, loads, so which is what I want to do really, I want to be able to upload Ideally, every single PDF file I've got. So at this stage, it'd be 1,078, 79 now with this one. So to upload all of those into an AI and then ask it questions. So tell me about Andre. Uh, give me every every instant about Andre eating and just like go through that. Tell me, give me a list of things I did with Andre as an example. 
uh, tell me about karate, doing karate at school. Tell me about when I did boxing. Uh, tell me about when I worked in a chip shop. Tell me about when I wore glasses for the first time. Or, or anything to do with my glasses. Uh, tell me about uh, my little brother. Or tell me about working in the first bakery that I worked in. You know, just as examples. And bit by bit, formulate a book. So it's not a case of just copying and pasting and then that'll be a book. It was, I just, just to give, it'd be a more of a um, stimulation of what, you know, stories I've told. And let's face it, I can't put in a book the way that I talk on this podcast because I'm a bit coherent, incoherent sometimes, aren't I? Like, I, it's, I stutter, I... I trip over words and all that stuff. Can't do that in written form. Can't really do that in a in a book. Um, and there's no pauses. <laughs> there's no pauses in a book, really. I know you can do dot, 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 or whatever, or maybe you do on a different page. But, or have a gap. But it's, hmm, I'm not sure how I want to put it together. I mean, I quite like the idea, this is, maybe it's a bit silly, but I quite like the idea of producing a, and this book would be PDF file book. It won't, it won't be, or in the form of a, a Amazon, a Kindle, I guess. I don't know if there's other, other, other ones available nowadays. But sort of Kindle, PDF, book, that kind of thing. I mean, Kindle doesn't use PDF, but it's, it's similar. It's a different, just a different file type. And I don't think I'm going to be able to, unless I get, I get some kind of sponsorship or something, I don't think I'm going to be able to actually release it as an actual book book, you know, with paper and that. Although that would be cool. I mean, there is one way of doing it, which uh, I don't know if they're still around. Uh, it's a website called Lulu. And how they used to work is you'd send your documents, you know, of the book. Get it printed out. They'd send you the book. Check it was fine. You'd pay them, you know, for the, the work they've done. They'd just basically print it out, send it, bind it, send it to you. And if you're happy with it, then you'd say go ahead and they'd set up a page or you'd set up a page with the link you know and all they do is whenever someone paid for the book so they go onto the website they pay for the book they would then print it to order and send it out so that's one way of doing it but that and i looked at that probably 20 years ago and it's uh maybe less but quite a while back and it was it wasn't cheap but then thinking about I don't know thinking about doing a PDF book so it's basically a digital book I just don't know 99.8% accuracy this turbo charges I want to see what manage subscription okay here we go manage subscription I'll tell you how much I'm paying manage subscription $20 per month so that's that's how much I'm paying for this and um, it's really good seriously it's I know it's, I haven't really got the money for it, but blimey, it's so good. It, 99.8%. It's, it's, it's more precise than I am. It actually, <laughs> when it transcribes it, it just, it's better worded than what I do. <laughs> it's not. But I did notice that with some of the AI stuff is, 
I put in a transcription and said, give me, give me a, a summary of this. And a very flowery sum of the wording. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the, the host of JasonNewland.com is, he describes his life in a very whimsical, humorous, light-hearted manner uh, in order to ease, ease the, the listeners' minds and to, to just softly um, lead them into a lull of, you know, just calmness and, and just a sense of letting go whilst listening without taking himself seriously he talks about things in his life such as Vinny a dog that he clearly loves very deeply it's like I don't speak like that I don't you know it's, it's worded so I just this isn't a transcription this was um, I don't know if it was it was one of the other AI things that I played around with for just getting a summary of a transcription it's like you talk it's I don't talk like that um I think I'm very basic very basic talker uh, I definitely don't use big words I can use some big words elephant that's a big word <laughs> um large that's a big word in fact the biggest big word is biggest <laughs> my belly button just exploded <sighs> I wonder if I'll always be childish. Mm. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. That's what I'm doing this at the moment. But and also YouTube has started to grow, and I don't know quite why. My YouTube channel, rather not not the business, but what. One of the issues, and it's, it's still an issue, and I just, I can't really get beyond it, so I'm just going to just move on from worrying about it anymore, is, so I'm, I'm uploading content, uh, and I'm uploading, I've started uploading videos of uh, Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily podcasts. So I'm uploading them. Uh, so I've uploaded six so far. I'm just going to do one a day, and people are listening to it. And my trans, my an analytics of subscribers is gone up like 21 in the last four days. 24, 21 new subscribers. So it's I don't quite know what's going on, but it's I'm not complaining. But then I did a, a video yesterday, Curly Whirly, Let Me Boy to Sleep. I videoed myself, the lighting wasn't very good, and it said 10 views. And it's like, oh, so this, all the work that goes into it, like the editing, all that stuff. And I have to do editing for the podcast, but with the video, it's just more like, time consuming waiting for it to be transferred from the phone to the iPad and then waiting for it to go from to download to the iPad and then waiting for it to transfer to the editing software it's yeah it takes it takes quite a long time it's a good like couple of hours process just that just maybe it's the internet it's just so rubbish but it's a, it's a really large file. I think it was something like 34 gigabytes or something, which is a big file to kind of transfer. And I can't, I, in a way, I just prefer to talk into the microphone. I do. It's it's just how it is it's just that's what I prefer I prefer just to be able to look at the laptop or the iPad depending on what I'm using to go through stuff to look up stuff you know if there's a, a question I've got I'm like oh I can look it up 
and you know it's nice to try and remember things which I do sometimes but it's, it's also nice to have that and I can't do that when I'm looking at a camera because I can't, can't keep looking down and looking up and but I don't know it's I know that if the YouTube channel becomes successful or it looks like it could grow I mean I haven't got huge amounts of uh, of um, subscribers on YouTube I've now got 1152 and again it's not I'm not getting many views the last 28 days I've had 3.1 thousand views so it's not like a huge amount 577.4 hours watched however it is growing like the last few days it started to grow and it's the ones without my face on the picture or video that seem to be more popular uh, I can't really that was a bit flappy eared there then I can't really question that because it does make sense that people would want to not want to look at me but I do also at the same time kind of miss that miss the the I don't know, I used to get quite a lot of people contact me when I did videos back you know a few quite a few years ago and I felt that people got to know me a bit better um what the heck are you doing Vinny apart from making lots of noise I guess it because I used to do the blogs or the vlogs and talk about my life which is what I do here so I guess people are getting to know me they just don't get to know me on YouTube they'll get to listen to the hypnosis stuff but this is I don't know if I'll bother posting anymore the let me boy to sleep on there I might just stick to the hypnosis stuff and keep the let me boy to sleep to the podcasts I don't know I'm always questioning and I always like second guessing myself I don't know why I do that see I'm doing it now Ooh, that was clever well it wasn't really was it but I was being honest I, I don't yeah I don't like being honest not as much fun as you'd think it's like being shot out of a cannon you know, to start with, you think that's a good idea, and then when you're actually inside the cannon, waiting to be shot out, you think, "Oh, my feet are getting warm." I don't, <laughs> I'm not sure. I did, uh, there's something on TV I wanted to watch. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about cannons. Uh, but what's he doing? He's scavenging the floor for food. I'm guessing he's hungry but he hasn't hassled me he's not like begging for food or like give me some dinner dad now nothing like that he's just he's listening for something he's like he's he's hunting or something which I hope that's not a good sign to be honest yeah you know, earlier I took him for a walk. I didn't take him for a walk really. I took him, I went, I had to go to the petrol station and get some milk because I'd run out of milk. Otherwise I wouldn't have got to buy milk. I don't buy milk unless I'm running out of milk. Although sometimes I do buy it ahead of time. I kind of think, well, I've got enough for half of tomorrow. So I'll buy some so that I don't have to go out tomorrow to the petrol station to get milk. But today I didn't have enough milk. I, yesterday I did think that. I thought I don't have enough milk for the whole of tomorrow. This this was yesterday. But I do have enough for breakfast. And that's really the only one that I need to have milk for. Because if I don't have milk in the morning, if 
for breakfast, it means I have to have toast. Well, I don't have to have, have toast, but there's not really anything else. I can't eat a meal like normal food first thing in the morning. I just, I just don't have the, um, just don't. I just, I just don't. It's, it just doesn't work for me. And so I thought, I want to go over to the petrol station and get some milk. And this isn't a contest to see how many times I can say the word milk in five minutes. It's not, although I think I probably would win that contest. Milk, 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 milk. And we walk in there. And he does, and can you really keep quiet? And we get to the petrol station and he decides to walk on the grass because there's a grass verge on the right hand side uh, of the petrol station and there's some grass there. Hence the grass verge, I guess. But And there's a couple of trees and stuff because it's all countryside. And I thought he was just going to do a wee wee. Which is what he normally does. Does a quick wee wee, has a little sniff around, and that was it. We didn't this time. He did a poo. And I thought, oh, okay. So I pulled one of my two bags out, and I picked the poo up. And I, I thought, oh, what am I going to do with this? Because I can't walk around with it. Uh, they do have a bin in front of the petrol station, but I don't think they welcome dog poo. It was in a bag, you know, not like a satchel, but like a poo bag. And I thought, well, oh, hey, I've lived here all these years. I've never, I think, once put poo in that bin. Never pooed in that. <laughs> never. Not, not dog poo, anyway. And sh I just thought, okay, I'll do that. And he's pulling, and he wants to go further into the grass under the tree. I thought, oh, he's got more grass to sniff. Nope, he had more poo. More poo. It's like, what? He never does more. Well, he has, but generally, he doesn't do more than one poo. And he did a second poo. It's like, what? So I picked that up with a second bag. Technically, I could have opened the first bag again, but it's quite difficult because I'd have to turn it upside down and potentially the other poo would fall out and I just, you know, it just gets messy. I mean, literally. So I thought I'd use a second bag for the second poo. Put them in the bin as we come in. I feel a little bit self-conscious. Hope they don't notice. Hope they don't have a go at me. I don't know how what I would respond to that. <clears throat> But it all went fine. And we're walking back. About to just cross the road. And he wants to go on the grass. So let him go on the grass. Does a third poo. Now this is traffic going past. It's a very busy road. It's not on anyone's lawn. It's on this big bit of grass that no one walks on. No one goes on. It just happens to be next to the, the main road. Does his big poo. I go into my pocket, no bag. I've used up the two bags. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't have any spare bags to pick it up. And I was just standing there looking at it thinking, well, it's not in anyone's garden. No one's going to walk on it because there's no reason to walk on this grass. Just where it was, it's right in a place where no one would be walking. In fact, I don't know why he decided to want to go on there. Luckily, there wasn't a traffic jam, which there quite often is, or really slow traffic. The cars were going past, so no one was like watching me. I had to leave it there. I had to leave it. But as I said, there was nowhere near anyone. No one's going to walk in it. No one's going to go anywhere near it. It's just it's really out of the way. But like, I'm quite vigilant. I'm very good with, well, not good, but I just do what I'm supposed to do is pick it up. 
but I had nothing to pick up with. Why well, don't you go back? You'll go home and oh, no, because it's not anywhere near where I live. There's if there'd been another dog walking nearby, which that has happened before. Remember he he did a poo on someone's garden, and I think this was another time when he'd I'd used already used the bag up. And I only took out one that day, and I've managed to find another dog walker, and I borrowed their bag, their uh, one of their poo bags, and. That was flimsy though. My, I get good ones. The the ones that I borrowed off them was really quite small. I think the bags I get are too big, to be honest. But I don't see the point in getting a really... I think it's worth... I don't spend a lot on poo bags. It's not expensive. I think they're about £5 for 100 or something. But... There's no point buying the cheapest, crappiest things you can get, excuse the pun, if you have to spend 10 minutes trying to open the top. And then when you do open the top, it might split because it's so thin and fragile and so tiny. It's like, no, just give me a decent bag that's easy to open and I'll spend an extra one pound per hundred you know, it's it's. Uh, there's, there are no shortcuts. I don't think it's just. There's been times, whenever I, because I've di I've used different poo bags over the years. Well, over the period of having him, plus I used to have Andre. He used to do poos. He had a bum as well, and some of those poo bags were so ridiculous, couldn't open them. These ones are easy to open. So I would recommend if you if you've got a dog or a I was gonna say elephant, but you'd need you literally need a wheelbarrow, don't you? For an elephant. Not not to carry it, but I mean for the poo, I mean. But yeah, it's uh and then he did that, so I had to pretend to pick it up. So I'm bending over, doing my best drama, like waving my hands at him and like pretending to, and then like pretending I had it in my hand and just, just it was silly. It was embarrassing. Because I did, I did, I did feel embarrassed because it's not, it's not something I like to do. I don't leave in, I like to pick it up, but I couldn't. There was no way I didn't have enough bags. I didn't bring enough out with me. It was my error. But he rarely does more than one, maximum two. I think he's only ever once before done more than two. I think he did seven that time. <laughs> no, but he's, he's only ever done more than two once, I think. So now I'm going to take four out. Is this what I thought you needed to know? That's all. I thought it'd be uh, important. Important information. What's the time? Seven forty-three. Big Brother's on at nine. Oh, I've not mentioned Big Brother, have I? I've not met. Have I? I will do tomorrow. Big Brother's back on TV. ITV two. And I watch it every night. Every night. It's only just started. It started on Monday night, I think it was. Which is a weird night for it to start. Normally it starts, I think, on a Friday. But for some reason it started Monday. And it's on from 9 till 10. And then the Big Brother after show is on between 10 and 11.30. But yesterday I watched 9 till 10 and then I had a phone call. Or no, I, I had a missed phone call and I phoned. No, I had a text message, that's it, from my, my friend to say call me. And I called her and so I was on the phone till about 20 to 11, 10 to 11, something like that. And then I went to bed. So yeah, that's it. So I'm going to go, so remember to be kind to yourself, 
remember to be gentle with yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.